you've survived another week. Thank you for listening, downloading, and subscribing to the Black Man with a Gun Show. This week, the Christmas list begins. Magazine versus a clip. Kenspodcast.com, fighting for your life. And, da-da, and da-da, that's all, folks. Blackmanwithagun.com, Ken Blanchard's Pro Gun Podcast. First and foremost, I want to wish all my Jewish brothers and sisters a happy Hanukkah and everybody else a Merry Christmas. And if you celebrate nothing, then just move on. There's nothing to hear. This Christmas, this holiday season is a good time to buy stuff. And one of the top things you can buy is a magazine for your firearm. Yeah. Now, depending upon where you live, you might have a restriction on what you can actually get. But I say get the max amount of rounds you can carry. There are some state restrictions, like in California, your capacity cannot exceed 10 rounds without law enforcement status verification or high capacity permits, believe it or not. And magazine repair kits can't be shipped to California. In the great state of Illinois, certain counties and cities have their own restrictions on capacity and is usually generally 10 or 15 rounds. In Colorado, the maximum capacity is 15 rounds. In Connecticut, it's 10. Buyers must provide a copy of their driver's license and either a state handgun carry permit, long gun certificate, or ammunition ammunition certificate. In the District of Columbia, 10 rounds is your max capacity. In Hawaii, 10. But the rifles are not restricted. In Maryland, 10. In Massachusetts, 10. In New Jersey, 10. In New York, 10. In Vermont, the maximum capacity is 10 rounds for rifles and 15 rounds for pistols. Now, please note, I am not a lawyer. I'm not playing one on television. The laws are constantly changing. This is not legal advice, but do your research. And you want to buy some good magazines. There's some cheap ones out there, too. See, this is what happens. When you go to SHOT Show, you will see millions of people and some of them are Chinese industrialists and if you invent something really cool I have heard this with my own ears a Chinese engineer will say oh I see you selling this product do you want us to make a cheaper version of it for you and some people say yeah and next thing you know you got these knockoffs that look exactly like your product but they're not well there are a lot of knockoff magazines out there too that are crap And while we're talking about magazines, you know, a magazine and a clip, they are two different things. You make yourself sound not so smart, not so cool if you call a pistol magazine a clip. A magazine is an ammunition storage or feeding device with or attached to a repeating firearm. A clip is a device that is used to store multiple rounds of ammunition together as a unit ready for insertion into a magazine cylinder. Of a firearm. Yeah. Back in the day, they had these light bulbs that were all connected by a strip. And you would kind of push the strip down into the camera. Or you'd pop them off individually and put them in. That's how they were kept. These strips were on the back where the primer is. That's a clip. A magazine is a device or chamber for holding a supply of cartridges to be fed automatically to breech of a gun. It's the area from where ammunition is pulled and put into the firing chamber. A magazine can be an integral part of the firearm, or it can be removable as an attachable. In either case, the magazine is the area of the firearm that feeds ammunition into the chamber. Most modern-day piece, modern-day pistols and many rifles use detachable magazines. The magazine is filled with ammunition by hand, sometimes with a clip, and then it's loaded into the gun. The magazine then feeds individual rounds of ammunition into the chamber through a spring-loaded follower. While not all guns use clips, all guns, with the exception of revolvers or single-shot firearms, have magazines. If you're looking at an old war movie, and you see somebody grab a whole stack of rounds, and push it down into 
a magazine case, that's probably a clip. It's a device used to load a magazine. A magazine is a device or holding area where ammunition is fed into the chamber of a firearm. All magazines are not created equal, and I suggest you start looking this Christmas, this holiday season, for magazines for 2021. Yeah, I know ammo is hard to get, but you can still shop for the good stuff. A good cleaning kit would be a good thing if you don't already have one. If you have the space and you are thinking ahead, you could actually buy a reloader. And I'm a big fan of the Dillon product line. So think about reloading. It's still tough because you still have to get your primers and your ammunition and your um, bullets themselves and cases and all that stuff separate. And the same firearms issues that we have now, if you listen to previous episodes, they're coming from overseas. So it's still a hard thing to do. But if you had planned already for this crazy time, which will come again, reloading could be a good deal for you. Consider it. If you are considering carrying concealed, you might want to start buying a good holster. And holsters depend upon how you're wearing, how you're using, and um, what you'll be doing. But if you're not into concealed carry, you live in the city, you live in a prohibited place, I say still buy a quality holster so that you can wear it around the house, around your property. And if you have a good holster, you need a good belt. The belt you buy in your Stacey Adams belt is not a good belt. You need a belt that can hold up to the weight of both your magazines, your speed loader, and your firearm. Yeah, I said speed loader. If you are a revolver lover, consider buying some speed loaders too. And if you want to get real fancy, consider getting some custom-made earplugs. You can go to an audiologist, that's an ear doctor, just for sound, and get custom-molded plugs. Now, it might be expensive to you, you think, but so is going deaf. So is wearing plugs that hurt all day. So is trying to keep out the noise and tired of using the same old plugs or disposable ones. You can get custom-made for your ears so that you can wear other earplugs the um, or earmuffs over top of that to be double safe. Consider that. There's not a lot of people having appointments at audiologists these days looking for earplugs. And you can actually get them to fit so that you can put your um, headphone jack into it. Yeah, you can do that too. And while we're talking about protection, how about stuff for your eyes? There's a couple of, couple of good companies out there that have high visibility, high impact, um, nice looking eyewear. Colors matter. If you're shooting um, skeet shotgun against that orange, then the high vis yellow does really well. Shows up against the sky. Um, depending on where you're at the time of day, yellow might hurt your eyes, might let in too much light. But there are um, rose colored glasses that also change the color of things. There are, I definitely would get polarized glasses if you can, no matter what you're doing or blue blocker if you can, or just clear, a really good set of clear glasses that are comfortable, that don't fog, that you can wear with a mask, that you can wear under your ear muffs. That stuff matters. That little pressure by your temple can get irritating after a while. And all that stuff can take you out of the game if you're thinking about the pain and not the target. Oh, we're Christmas shopping, right? We're holiday shopping. How about some clothing? Proper, proper makes some good stuff. If you're kind of uh, on the chubby side, I'm not sure whether proper is for you or not. I've only seen them on the Slim Brothers, so I can't really tell you only for, for the husky fit people. But there's always 5'11", and there's a whole bunch of knockoff stuff that you can find. I've always been a big fan of Blackwater clothes. I don't care where they're coming from. They fit right, and they last a long time. And, you know, if you are an indoor shooter, you can buy a bulk set of the targets that you like so that you don't have to buy anything when you come there. You can just show up with your own ear pro, eye pro, your own ammo, your own targets, and all you need is the lane. It will save you lots of money. Well, that's a good starter list for the holidays, and maybe next week I can come up with some more stuff for you. And if you have something that you think would be a great thing for others to know about, please give me a call. Please share it, email, 
so that I can add it to the list and tell your friends and brothers and sisters and cousins and aunts and uncles and all those that are part of this family. Brothers and sisters, if you are ever considering suicide, if you're ever thinking about taking yourself out of the game, please call me. My number is 202-579-9435. If you need to vent, to talk, to pray, you can email me here, blackmanwithagun at gmail.com or ken at speaklifechurch.net. Now, don't let the smooth taste fool you. I ain't tripping if you don't believe in my God. But he sent me to fight for you. And I will fight you if you make me. So if you're fighting the demons in your head, believe that I will go to the gates of hell to get you out. Call me if you need me. 202-579-9435 or email me. Blackmanwithagun at gmail.com or ken at speaklifechurch.net. I love you. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Since 2014, I have been a member of the Crossbreed Holster family. If you carry concealed, get a holster that supports not only your firearm, but your freedom, the faith, and this brother with a triad-free lifetime guarantee. Crossbreedholsters.com Crossbreedholsters.com Hey, this week I got a chance to talk to retired senior chief Tom Shea, a former U.S. Navy SEAL. And uh, he inspired me to focus and start a campaign to help warriors in crisis. That's what that thing was when I said fighting to live. I'm making sure that um, my online ministry, speaklifechurch.net, begins a campaign to help folks like us that go through a hard time. So, if you want to hear that interview, which was off the hook, it was just so good, check out kenspodcast.com. It's my other podcast. I have like four. But kenspodcast.com, you'll see the latest one with Senior Chief Tom Shea. He served 23 years as a U.S. Navy SEAL. He's the only SEAL in history to endure the infamous Hell Week five times. He was knocked out before due to illness and injury in training. He's the best-selling author of a book called Unbreakable, and he has a new one called Three Simple Things Leading During Chaos, which was so inspiring. Our conversation was just different. I mean, I was just into it. And it's making me reconsider some stuff, like this podcast is not going to be weekly in 2021. It'll be every two weeks, so it'll be two a month. I'm going to try that for a minute. And I have decided, redecided not to do my training as a firearms instructor, not to renew it, not to get back in the game. I plan to be doing some other shooting and videoing and a lot of other things that won't allow me to be a trainer. I'm planning on hunting across the country. I plan on um, demoing a whole bunch of new firearms on camera. Um, I'm working on my voice acting career and even a little television. But I'll keep you posted as I get a little closer to my goals. And it's all about focus. Focus is important. Trying to get some in 2021. Speaking of video, I want to give a shout out to my friend Mo and to Sarah for your commentary and your critique of my Speak Life Church video. I took it to heart. I know where I went wrong. I definitely need a boom microphone or a really good lapel mic. But um, until then, I'm going to change some stuff up in my studio here down here in the basement and use the mic I always use so that you can hear me loud and clear. It was a good uh, a good critique, a good snag. Appreciate that lookout. So if you're supporting me and you wonder, hey, he's cutting back on the podcast, but not really. 
If you've gone to my new YouTube channel, you'll find out that I have two. There's Black Man with a Gun TV, and there's the Ken Blanchard YouTube channel. And I am expanding them both, so you'll be seeing a lot more video. So I kind of switched up. I am definitely over my fear of video now, and even though I'm not as pretty as I used to be, I'm comfortable recording things, and someday I'll get a team of people and I can do some stuff without me doing everything. But I'll wait. I waited this long. And I think that's going to be it for this week. You know, the more you say, the less people remember. You see, what happened is I actually worked this week uh, in my office. They had me doing the thermos, therm- thermometer check at uh, old dark 30 up until 930. So for about five hours, I was doing temperature checks of all the employees, putting myself at risk for the deadly COVID-19. I'm still tripping that people don't believe that it's real. Uh, my son had it and has recovered. And one of my cousins had it, was hospitalized, and has yet, and she has recovered. And another cousin has it right now, and he is home trying to get over it. Um, so for all you anti-maskers and folks who think there's a conspiracy in a pickle jar, you can kiss my grits. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. No, that wasn't nice. I know. I'm sorry. Slap my hand. Okay. I won't do that again. Please forgive me. Thank you for all those who are supporting me on patreon.com forward slash black man with a gun. I appreciate you and thank you for keeping the show going, keeping me inspired and helping me pay the bills. Just in case nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Until the next time. Shalom, baby. Until next time, friends. To keep in touch with Ken and his cause, head over to blackmanwithagun.com. 